Hey everybody, Ian Katz here. I'm new to this, so bear with me. I'm going to be doing metal detecting and urban exploring, exploring abandoned houses, businesses, boats, cars, whatever I can find. I've been exploring now for 22 years, but now just starting to document it. I saw it on YouTube and I uh, thought maybe I should start doing it myself. But anyhow, we're off to Niagara Falls today. I'm going to take the kids and wife down there for a couple nights and uh, I'll have a bunch of video for you then. Okay I'll see you down in Niagara Falls. This is our room at the uh, Hilton and as you can see CNN is on TV of course and uh, it's a two bedroom suite. This is the hallway here in the bathroom. You can see a jacuzzi tub the sink, the mirror, here's the toilet and shower, pretty nice shower and uh, here we have the sink and down the hallway we got the second bedroom which the kids are in and they are making a big mess. As you can see there's two double beds and we're playing games on the computer I don't know what game this is. What game is this? Black Ops 3. Black Ops 3. So we're going to take a walk right now and uh, when I get outside I'll uh, turn the camera back on. Okay, we're done checking in and as I was walking I just seen these pictures here. Don't know if they'll come out or not. But that is a Niagara Falls Championship Hockey Team from 1905. And there's a, the Niagara Falls Frozen. A picture made out of wood. And over here, we have the Niagara Falls hockey team from 1922. These are pretty demo pictures. And it looks like a Niagara Falls book from the early 1900s as well. That's, that is pretty neat. That's the Niagara Falls Flyers Championship Hockey Team 1965. Okay, now we're just going to go take a walk outside for a little bit and uh, we'll see you outside. Okay, we're outside now. Falls View Casino. I don't be able to see much in the dark. There's the waterfalls. It's pretty easy to do a 3 a.m. challenge in this place because it's open all night long. Over there is more hotels. We can take a walk over to the fountains and I'll uh, show you some more pictures. Look at this thing here. The waterfall. It looks like steampunk waterfall. Okay, I lost audio here, but this is inside Casinorama with all the machines. I was told not to take any kind of video, but I did anyways. There's the uh, Falls View Casino Hotel. Pretty tall. Okay, here we are at the IHOP. Let's see what we got on the menu here. What looks good? Five and I can't see this. Okay, food has arrived. This is my meal here. Got hams, hash browns, bacon, and eggs. And some pancakes. Of course, you got my son who doesn't didn't get to press the button. Ding dong, ding dong. really? Here is the very first Best Buy. Express vending machine I've ever seen. They have headsets, micro USB chargers, headphones, they have SD cards, they have everything. And now we're leaving the Sheridan's Four Seasons where that hop is. Going back to the Hilton. Do this way to the Hilton. 
this way to the casino. And down there is a little mall. And we're going through the one that goes back to Hilton. You should be able to see the uh, Falls View Casino thing better now. This, my friends, is why you never vacation with five kids. We kind of calmed down now, but... I got it the first day. Except for Aiden. I pre-ordered. Aiden's a little hyper. Are you a hyper diaper, Aiden? Aiden's hyper. He literally... Oh, yeah. He literally went... Screw up the quality. Dane. Can anybody tell me what kind of dinosaurs these are? Here we are in downtown Niagara Falls. The big Ferris wheel. Here we are Niagara Falls. So we're gonna noise that kid trying to sing Bruno Mars. But it looks like we're gonna get some rain, so I'm not gonna be able to get all of Niagara Falls this trip. We're going to Lash Museum now. There's Jimmy Fallon. Let's get a little closer here. There's Meryl Streep. Meryl Streep right here. You can see Clark, Clark Gable. Bob Hope. And Robert De Niro. Is she swinging by herself? Is she swinging by herself? These dudes are up There's John Belushi and Dan Aykroyd. Blues Brothers. You're falling onto the chair. Why are you asking for more? I don't know if that looks like Dan Aykroyd or not. Okay, next. Crocodile Dundee. Who is this guy? Peter Parker. Colin Farrell. He's not Peter Parker. Bartender. Jack Nicholson is a Joker. Michael Keaton is Batman. Mr. T's Barracuda. The Terminator. Haley Berry and John Travolta. There's four scoop. Life is like a box of trucks. Damn, look at his hair. <laughs> And Happy Gilmore. I don't know if he looks like uh, Adam that well. Yeah, baby, yeah. Mike Myers is Austin Powers. Here's Fatal Attraction with Michael Douglas. And Glenn Close. Uh, Angelina Jolie. There is Brendan Fraser from The Mummy. All right, we have uh, Ian McKellen as Gandalf. Elijah Wood is uh, Frodo from Lord of the Rings. There he be. And Harry Potter. And Eddie Murphy. So there's Dr. Doolittle. With the bear and the moose. There's Jennifer Lawrence and Josh Hutcherson in the Hunger Games. And E.T. Sleeping Beauty. There's one. Two, three. 
Kristen Stewart, Kristen Stewart and Robert Pattinson and Twilight. All you Twilight fans out there. We got Judy Garland here as Dorothy in the Wizard of Oz. Me in the morning before I have my coffee. Alien leader doesn't even have a name. Oh, the Samsung. Do 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 do. In a minute. Da 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 da. Lisa. Can't remember the baby's name. Maggie. Maggie. That's it. Homer. Marge. And Bert. There's Batman. Marilyn Monroe. You guys think it looks like Marilyn Monroe? You guys think it looks like You guys from Ocean's Eleven. George Clooney. Julia Roberts. Brad Pitt. Got my hero here. Hopefully, it was, there we go. Yeah, my hero, Clint Eastwood from Unforgiven. Oliver Hardy, Laurel and Hardy, Stan Laurel. The spokesmistress for the Adopt the Zombie Foundation. We're affiliated with the Inhumane Society. This is Elvira, the Mistress of the Dark. She used to be on TV before uh, horror movies. I think back in the uh, 70s and 80s. Michael Jackson, and Boris Karloff. He's a king of horror. Frankenstein here. Okay, this is Robert Unland, England. It's Freddy and Nightmare on Elm Street, part 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There's the Niagara Brewing Company. Yeah, it's cold beer in there. That's against Book of World Records. There's a haunted house. No fake Elvis. Elvis is. Give him two dollars, and he throws the necklace around your neck. All right, we are off to a place called Kick Ash Vapes. They're a customer of mine. We sell uh, electronic cigarettes and uh, ele electronic cigarette juice. So I'm heading there now, and uh, when I get there, I'll take, I'll take some video of the place. Okay, we're here, Kikash Vapes. One of my customers. We're gonna go inside and say hello and see what's going on. This industry this is Kikash Vapes in Niagara Falls. I'm sorry, what was your name again? Lucas. Lucas. Hi everybody. All kinds of hardware. And they do some maple leaf vapes juice here. It's a nice little cozy shop. Oh, I got the lounge area too. Huh? Yeah. And I walked in and totally missed it. <laughs> this one needs two bags. No, they're all, the batteries are all recharged. So you like this style or this style? Right. Right. Uh, sure. Well, I'll have the new stuff. Nice little lounge you have here. 
got TV. It's like living room at home. Go to the front. Yeah, these guys are long-term customers of ours. Appreciate their business. The nice people here. Just come visit if you uh, if you're in the Niagara Niagara Falls region. You should drop by the store. It's called Kick H Kick Ash Vapes. Here is the infamous upside down house. Built upside down and you actually walk on the ceiling. Let me see if I can zoom out here. No, I can't zoom out. But this house is a full size house that's built upside down. So when you walk inside, every, tables, chairs, everything are on the ceiling, which is actually the floor, but it's pretty freaky when you walk in there. You kind of lose your bearings. This is one of the must attractions if you ever get to Niagara Falls. So Marie, how are you liking the trip so far? I'm tired now. But yeah. it was nice to take the kids out. Yeah, it was. Yeah. She's got to do more often. Yep, definitely. And uh, this is my wife Marie. I think I mentioned that earlier. Yeah. We're both going to be doing urban exploration. Might get into dumpster diving. Do 3 a.m. challenges. Just a whole whack of stuff. I'm not looking to make money. I'm just doing this for fun because I do it anyway. So I might as well start recording it. Isn't she beautiful? And there's my daughter. Oh, Sarah. Hi, how are you enjoying uh, Niagara Falls? It's fun. Yeah? Do they come in here? There's always lots to do. And my other two kids are in the... Uh, Kids. Upside down, I'm sorry, three kids are up in the upside down building. And over here is, is a maze I went through and uh, you have to collect things at different parts of the maze in order to finish. Uh, it took me something like a half an hour to finish it. It's hard, man. This is a part of the uh, lake. And it comes down to the falls, goes through here and then you got a little bit of a like going on here and then it goes straight down that way towards Lake Ontario. There's rapids somewhere around here I'm going to try to find them. Well, not rapids, I mean whirlpool. So I'm going to look for that and I'll get back to you when I find it. Here's the rapids of Niagara River. That's where the whirlpool usually is but they said because we had no rain there's not much of a whirlpool going on. And of course it goes down Niagara River, Lake Ontario right here. The trolley can take over the uh, rapids as well. And here's good old Niagara Falls. <laughs> I would hate to be on that boat, man. there if I can get it where are they right there in that boat that's the made of the mist takes people along the uh, Canadian American Falls that's another must thing when you come to Niagara Falls I guess this is the grand finale of uh, Niagara Falls. You gotta come here at night because they eliminate the falls. And in the winter time, sometimes the falls will actually freeze over. Absolutely no water will fall. It's quite a beautiful sight to see. And we're pretty far down. Down around here somewhere a long time ago, there used to be an electric station. They actually harnessed the, harnessed the electricity from Niagara Falls. It's all gone now. And it would have been a nice place to explore when it was around, but it's gone. All that's left there is the, these empty cabins. 
nothing left from the old power station. At night time around 10 o'clock p.m. they also have fireworks right over the falls. If you stand here you can watch the most beautiful display of water of uh, fireworks every single night in the summer. That's my daughter Emily. I'm, I mean Sarah. See? Tired, mixed in the brain. Here's my son Isaiah and my little son Aiden. Alright, I lost video here, guys. This is inside Casino Rama. Alright, I lost audio. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I lost audio here, guys, but this is inside Casino Rama. We're not allowed to take pictures. Or <laughs> she has a knife ready to go, eh? Where is it? Okay, there it is. Nice long knife. No, that's about that. There it is. Water cooler. Or cooler water. Okay, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment on the video. Let me know what you thought of our trip of, to Niagara Falls. Also, I'd like to give you the opportunity for you to tell me what you would like me to do. So make sure that you comment on what you'd like to see me do. If you'd like to see me do urban explorations, 3 a.m. challenges, overnight challenges, uh, metal detecting, eating strange things, whatever, you, whatever you'd like to see done, I, I'm game. So let me know what you'd like to see on, in the comments, and thank you for watching. Make sure you follow me on Twitter at, at Ian underscore Katz, K-T-Z-Z. -Z. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.